This is a tutorial just explaining how to complete your underwater dive slate. Um, here we're looking at the dive slate for diver 1, but the beginning of the dive slate is exactly the same um, for both diver 1 and diver 2. It's very straightforward, but some key information that we need from you. Um, the date the survey was carried out, um, the dive time, uh, the names of the two uh, scuba divers, and obviously what their roles are. So if we ever need to check anything, we could get back to somebody. And if you're on a boat where there's a team of divers going to carry out the survey, you need to agree beforehand um, which teams are going in what directions. And then there's just a little bit of information here, which is just a reminder in terms of who does what. And you discuss this um, before getting in the water. There's a place for estimating the visibility. There's a tutorial about how we might do that. And we'd also like to get your uh, temper the temperature of the seawater, which you're probably going to get off your dive computer. So if you look now specifically at what Diver 1's got to do, Diver 1 um, is carrying out the fish survey. So in the first outward journey, with tape reel in hand, uh, the diver's going to be recording fish. So what we're expecting here is just some tally marks in terms of how many fish you may see, just like so. You might see um, a shoal of demoiselles, you might think that there's a, a group of 50, and then you might see perhaps, oh wow, a huge group, estimating at 100, and the best way to do is to circle each one. So if you're not doing tally marks and instead just put a number, just circle it so then we can see how many fish that you have and later on you're going to upload this data onto the website so when you return to these dive slates um, things will make sense so that's fish the other key part in this survey is looking at crayfish and again exactly the same you might see a little group of four babies um, then you might move along and you'll see another group this time of six babies so we want to make sure that's not 46 so you've seen a group of four and a group of six of course you might just do the tally marks as well as you go through your dive okay so this is what we'd like you to see what we'd like to see from you at the end of the dive and then you'd upload that information onto the website the final piece of information here is whether you record any underwater footage or take any photographs. So if you were to go over the transect with a video camera, um, you'd tick yes for that uh, with your video, and there's an option of uploading that video onto the website. So you've got a video that accompanies all the dive data that you and your buddy collect. You might wish to put any other comments, any other interesting things. You may have seen some... Um, some invasive uh, sea creatures there, again another tutorial on that, but any other interesting information, whether it be littering, um, who knows. So, that's how Diver 1 would complete their underwater dive slate.